Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick tour of the Merle Fest grounds. It has actually stopped raining for a, a moment here. We're gonna be walking over some mud puddles, but I wanna show you real quickly. This is the Expo tent sponsored officially by the Acoustic Shop. We've got our booth set up here where we've been doing a lot of live streaming all weekend. And uh, the folks Deering are right next door to us. And they've been bringing us some great acts all weekend too. So I think those guys also for being great partners with us. But a really cool expo tent where there's a lot of different builders. We've got Taylor guitars over here, Eastman and Bourgeois at the end there, and some really cool guitar stands. Some nice stuff just to, uh, more music related. But the cool thing is we're located right next to the main stage, the Merle Fest, uh, Merle Watson stage. That's where all the big acts go on. Last night we got to see some great shows. All the bus parking is right next to us. Over here is a really cool kind of hidden uh, stage called Creekside. That's where they do a lot of workshops. They had the mandolin mania over here, which is one of my favorite events as a mandolin player because they had Sandbush. And a lot of really great mandolin players doing some, uh, some little performances, playing together, talking about their mandolins, and uh, just really cool little intimate stage right there compared to the main big stage. And we're gonna give a quick walk down this aisle here. This is down the food aisle, and we'll show you the, the big audience area and where all the, big, the other stages are going on right now. give you guys a little perspective of where we're at right now. This is the main stage right now. That, uh, we have a band going on on the side cabin stage, and that's kind of what they do during the switch over between bands. So they got a cabin stage going on right beside the main stage. But you can see the audience goes all the way from that stage over there. Fills that whole field and then crosses over into this other side. We got a little bit of a moat here in between the two areas. But at night, this place will be full. All the empty spots will be full of lawn chairs. And uh, it has become a bit of a mud fest right now with all the rain, but we're expecting uh, some good weather for the rest of the evening. So we got the uh, Merle Fest, the official Merle Fest gift shop right here, and that's where they're gonna have all the posters and memorabilia from the festival, uh, cups, t-shirts, hats, all that stuff. But throughout, throughout this entire aisle, there's a lot of really cool crafts and some very unique artists come by and really get a chance to show their wares for such a, a great diverse crowd that's looking for other people to do some artistic uh, expression, including some tie-dye shoes for your kitties. I'm sure you need some of those. And over here, a large stage, they call this the dance stage, and there's no seating there. It's all gonna, it's a hard wooden floor, people can dance and uh, standing room only. And that place gets packed, especially at night. Uh, they just really get romping over there. Uh, this is a traditional stage over here where they do a lot more uh, traditional old time music. But I think simultaneously, they've got about five stages going on with live music. You kind of got to pick and choose which artist you want to see. I'll take you over here, uh, actually this direction over here, will show you the hillside stage. It'll come right this way. And of course, you got to get your picture taken with the Merle Fest 35. So this is the 35th year of Merle Fest. Uh, such a great festival to build over time. And over the years, they've really figured out how to dial it in and make sure they can make all of it work. Uh, we've attended a lot of festivals as the Chapman's performing at them and as the acoustic shop going to them. And really one of the most organized, well-run events, especially when you think of the size and scope of it. So I think you guys could probably figure out why this one's called Hillside Stage. It's just a perfect amphitheater built out of this hill over here, which right now with all that rain is a little bit muddy and slick, so I think people have been sliding down a little bit. But just a beautiful backdrop to have this uh, stage set up and just sit down there on the grass field. So after that long walk, this brings us to our final stage. This is the Heritage Stage, and a lot of great acts perform here as well. Another big uh, sitting space for the audience. And right now it's in between acts, so they're getting set up for the next group. But every stage you go to is isolated enough that you just kind of hear the music that's going on there. Like I said, the sound has been excellent at every stage. You can hear a little bit of what's going on in the background, but once a band starts performing here, it's very isolated, and they've really put a lot of thought into the layout of where the stages are located. So one of the cool things about this festival is traditions. I was here about 10 years ago, like I mentioned, and they had the same thing. They, did, they brought, bring in a pile of sand, and they have an artist that throughout the entire weekend builds a different sculpture every year, and it's so cool. This one, obviously, Merle Fest 2023, a really ornate, beautiful castle, 
And then over here he's working on the raccoon right now, which is the, uh, the official logo of Merle Fest. Another way that Merle Fest brings the artists and the fans together, they have a tent set up, the autograph tents, where after every big performance, the artists will spend about an hour here signing autographs. There's a line right now, uh, about 50 to 100 people long, just to stand in line to get autographs. Really cool, again, to help bring artists out front to meet with the fans in a very organized and safe way rather than just having them step in front of the stage. Well guys, that's the big tour of the Merle Fest grounds. I'm sorry, I did say earlier Wilkesboro. This is Wilkes Community College. Uh, but it's a, such a cool location to have a festival. This is kind of the backstage entrance here. We're not allowed to bring cameras back there. It's kind of uh, official use only. But we're gonna head back there and uh, get something to drink. Thank you guys for being a part of this. I hope you enjoyed your kind of behind the scenes tour of Merle Fest. If you ever get a chance to be out here, you owe it to yourself to see some of the best lineup in the, in the uh, world really as far as uh, Americana and folk music, bluegrass music. You really should come here and also just to see the size and organization of this festival. It's really a pleasure to be a part of it and hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let us know in the comments what you think of the festival, uh, anything that we didn't show that you want to uh, have answered or something we can go highlight or something we can go back to and show more video. We'll get this posted up here tonight and then uh, we'll be here all day tomorrow. It's supposed to rain a little bit, but we'll be happy to go out there and get some more coverage if we missed anything for you guys. Thanks so much. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, The Acoustic Shop, also on Facebook, TikTok, and Twitch. Uh, we do a lot of these live streams and walkthroughs, and this has been a great first year to Merle Fest 2023. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it.